Welcome to the video for the lesson four of the Marin Cole Older Beginner Level One book. So this lesson is going to encompass pages 28 to 34. And we're going to start off with introducing F. Now, F, we've already covered in a previous chapter, um, but we're going to put that on the staff here, and it is on space number one. So let me grab a circle here. So right there, that's space number one which is the bottom space of the treble staff. That's what we're going to be um, throwing into the mix here for running around. Uh, we'll have a separate video for that. Link will be in the description. Uh, in running around, uh, we'll play it with both the right hand first, and then there's an optional left hand note. So if, if we do assign that to you um, using the left hand, we'll play the left hand part as well and show that to you. Next on Lazy Days, um, we'll still use the uh, same four notes that we have been, C, D, E, F, like we did on Running Around. Um, let's go over this Do You Know section here real fast. So again, we're going to be um, answering, we're going to be putting the name of this symbol over here in the blank. So we're going to write the number that matches the name of the symbol here. So if you want to go ahead and pause the video right here, um, and then I'm going to pause for a couple seconds, and then we'll go over the answers here. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's talk about this. Letter A, now this is something that changes the note that we talked about, remember back to like um, um, Autumn, not Autumn Bells. Um, I'm gonna look in the book here because I can't remember. It, had, it was on the page with September morning. We're almost there. I want to get there. Autumn Waltz. I knew it was Autumn there. Autumn Waltz Butterfly um, had these in it. So these are called flats. So we're going to write a number two in there. Uh, letter B is the fermata. So we'll write that in right there, number four. C. So C is the opposite of the flat, which would be sharp. So we'll write a number one in there. And then letter D. Letter D is something that we haven't come across yet, but that is the natural sign. So your answer should be two, four, one, three, right there. So again, if you want to pause the video right here, that way you can check your answers and make sure that you have those right. And then let's go ahead and move on. So on the next page here, swinging and summer is over. Um, on These will be um, two separate videos for this one. Um, but we're going to start off this page here by doing a little bit of math. So we're going to re be reviewing the tie holds here. So if you remember, tie hold is when we combine two notes together and we play it for that total number of beats. So for example, when we have the dotted half note plus the quarter note, that would be equal to four. Okay. So if you want to pause the video, go through and answer these, and then we'll come back and answer them together. All right, so let's come in here. Uh, half note plus dotted half note. So if you, in your head you want to think the number of beats, so half note would be two beats. Dotted half note would be three beats. So our total beats would be five right there. Next, quarter note plus a quarter note, or one beat plus one beat, we would have two. Next, whole note plus dotted half note. So four beats plus three beats, we'd have seven right there. Dotted half note plus dotted half note. Three plus three would be, oh, I almost wrote that. <laughs> It'd be six. There's my weird looking six there. Um, quarter note plus half note. One plus two would be three. Half note plus half note. Two note or two beats plus two beats would be four. Half note plus quarter note. Two beats plus one beat would be three. And then dotted half note plus half note, three beats plus two beats, we'd have five right there. So if you want to pause the video real quick right there, uh, get those answers written in, and then we'll move on. All right, moving right on down the line. Uh, next, this is going to be uh, a matching one. We've done this in a previous video as well. Um, so let's just go through this here real quickly. Again, if you want to pause, fill out these answers real fast, and then we will um, connect these as well. All right, so coming down here, we start off with C, then we should have C, and then E, and then D, and then F, and then E, and then 
F and then D right there. Okay. And then I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to grab my line tool here. Oh, my lines are a little straight. And then we'll connect the dots here. So again, connecting the notes to where they live on the staff right here. And then as soon as I'm done with this, if you want to pause the video, right there, and then make sure that your answers match mine in your book. And then let's go ahead and move on. So then swinging and summer is over. These will be two separate videos, as I said. Um, because uh, the, the videos that we use are actually recorded from the normal level one book. And um, down here, we'll go through swinging and summer is over in those videos. Again, link in the description down below. And then we have skipping rocks. So in skipping rocks, squeaky gate and mountain echo, you notice we only really have one note in the left hand, just to kind of give you a little heads up. So try to take a guess of what that note is in the left hand, and then I'll give you the answer. So that note right there is the C, it's middle C. Play that one more time. Okay, when you are on Mountain Echo, come down here, technically we have two notes in the left hand. So here in your left hand part, uh, in measures one and two, we have middle C, but then we change it. So we change middle C in measure three and four, and then again in, in um, measure six to C sharp. So those are two separate notes. So again, we'll talk about that when we get to that video. Uh, again, link will be in the description down below. Um, but that concludes our video for lesson four in the Marincole Older Beginner Level 1.